Hello folks, it's been a while since I've put a video on YouTube and I thought it's about time that I uh, showed you something and uh, one of my favorite little tricks when uh, sewing is a thread chain. Now a thread chain keeps things in place um, also allowing the mobility and independence from one piece to another. What I mean is a thread chain is used when you want to attach lining to a garment when you want to keep something like this here I wanted to keep to show the red the contrast and so I put a thread chain this is what a thread chain looks like and it keeps the uh, it keeps the corner in place but it also allows it to have its independent movement so it looks like it's just hanging there just because the other place that I like to use thread chains is when I install shoulder pads. So I keep the shoulder pad in place, but it's not stiff and it's not going to be pulling anywhere. It allows the shoulder pad to sit properly on the, on the shoulder. So there's a thread chain here, one in the center, one more on the outside, and one in the center on this end. And you can see that it allows the movement but not too far so that it moves out of place. So now I'm going to show you how to do a thread chain. Okay, I have here just a white piece of fabric and I'm going to use black thread so it's easy to see in the video. Um, you can use single, double, or four strands of thread depending on how strong you want, you need the thread chain to be. I just have here double strand that I'm going to knot at the end and I'm going to start the thread chain. Now as I said I use white fabric just because it, um, it contrasts nicely. So the first thing you're going to do is make a, a stitch. Then you're going to make another stitch just to hold it in place and then another one and you're going to leave a loop. Okay. So you're going to leave a loop to get your fingers, you have to be able to get your fingers through it. So you're going to grab that, hold the loop, curl your finger, your middle finger through and grab the other thread while you're holding it with your, your other hand. Now you can be lefty or righty, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so then you pull and you see it in slow motion and you pull. Anybody who crochets knows how to do this because this is how you start it. So you see how you pull and you pull. So you're, at, you're just making a little loop, pulling the thread through. Now if you don't fasten it down, this is what happens. It unravels. So let's start again. I'll show you one more time. You leave a loop. Pull the thread through and pull. Pull the thread through, pull the thread through, pull the thread, pull the thread, pull the thread, pull it through. Now you can make it as long as uh, it needs to be. There's no uh, definite, if you want it shorter, you leave it shorter. If you need it longer, you need it longer. Now, to fasten it off, you're just going to put the needle through the loop and pull it through. And there you've fastened it off. Now, normally you would have two pieces of fabric. As I said, you would have a lining uh, with the fabric or you would have a shoulder pad or something. So then you take the other fabric that you're going to be attaching and you just do a little, you see that? Just a little stitch. And then another little stitch for security and normally you do this in the seam allowances so you don't have to worry about the stitches showing on the outside. Okay so then I did one more stitch and now I'm going to knot it off. So there it is it's knotted off. Okay and I like to do one more stitch just for good measure because you don't want these to come off especially on shoulder pads when they're on the inside of a garment. It's very hard to get to. So now you're going to cut it. And there you have your thread chain. Now there's many uses for this. Um, one, one of them is to, you see how, how each can move independent 
of each other, but they can't come apart. So that is a very useful tool.